Welcome back to another Tutorial Tuesday. Today we're going to take a look at the differences between front and rear engine cars in ACC. We'll talk a little bit about the cause of these differences. We'll drive a BMW M4 and a Porsche around the Nürburgring. We'll hop onto Track Titan to analyze the differences in the data. And we'll conclude the video with some key points that can help you figure out what car you want to drive in ACC. And if you want to analyze your own ACC level, Apps. You can do this for free on tracktitan.io and you get a ton of free extra analysis tools for a month if you sign up with code ACCENGINE. And be sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss our weekly sim racing guides that help out a ton of sim racers to get faster. The main difference between the front engined M4 and the rear engined Porsche is the balance of the car. Because the engine of the M4 is positioned over the front axle, the front tires have a lot more grip to play around with. The inverse is true for the Porsche. Because the engine is positioned behind the rear axle, there's a lot more weight over the rear tires and thus they have a lot more grip. You'll notice these differences when you take these cars out for a spin. The M4 has a much better time trail braking deep into corners because of the extra grip in the front. But it can get a little bit loose in the rear when you accelerate hard out of a corner. While the Porsche has a ton of grip during acceleration, it is more prone to oversteer when you're diving into corners. Both cars have a ton more pros and cons, but you'll learn a lot more by taking these cars out for a spin and finding out which one fits better with your own driving style. I'm definitely not the fastest driver at Track Titan, but we're gonna head out to the Nürburgring and find out how both of these cars drive. Here we are at the Nürburgring with the BMW M4 GT3, a front engine car with most of its weight on the front tires. So you would assume that it's very great for cornering as the front tires are supplied with more grip. And let's see if I can actually make use of that and set a decent lap time with it. One thing I've noticed a lot with this front engine car is that when you try to accelerate too much out of corners, the rear end gets a bit loose. And that's of course because the weight is over the front and you start to accelerate, the rear becomes very loose. Might be induced by a bit of wheel spin as well, but here we see that I need to make some minor corrections to not start spinning completely. And I feel like with a mid or rear engine car that will happen less often. But one thing you do get with the front, uh, with the engine in the front, is a lot of stability. The curbs, they don't mean that much to you. Especially the not so apparent ones. And you can just take them comfortably, so you have a little bit more track space to, to work with, as it were. Because you can really use the curbs as, as a bit of the track, actually. So, that's one of the, the bonuses of having the engine in the front. Alright, let's see if we can get this lap to a beautiful close here. Aiming for a late apex here. Alright, not the fastest in the world, but decent, I would say. A 159.78. Let's see how we do in the rear engine Porsche and what the differences are in the handling of both these cars. So here we come to our first flying lap in the Porsche. And the main difference I feel like in corners like that is that you can accelerate out of them by just flooring the pedal. While in a front engine car you, you'd have maybe a little trouble with a loose rear end. But now, because the engine is over the rear axle, you don't really have to deal with that because there's so much weight over those rear tires, you have a lot more grip there. But that comes with a cost, of course, and that cost is decreased stability and 
you gotta deal with turning oversteer a lot more, I feel like. But that could just be due to my driving style. And that that's what this all comes down to. There's no objective... Objective truth to any of this. It's... Does your driving style fit well with a rear or front engine car? And... Logically speaking, a mid-engined mid car has the best balance, of course. But people's driving styles, they vary, and you gotta find a car that fits well with yours. So maybe the way you drive jams well with something like the Porsche, or not at all. And maybe if the stability of a front-engined car is, is way more your style. But there's pros and cons to, to all of this, of course. And that's what we're finding out today. Let's see if we can get close to that BMW time. Not shifting correctly, even. Look at that. I love that. I think we're just gonna be ooh, very very close Talking whilst driving is quite hard So I forgot to mention that the Porsche is significantly more twitchy than the BMW It reacts a lot more to the finer inputs from your steering wheel and pedals But the BMW on the other hand isn't shaken up very easily Which is why it can handle curbs without much trouble and is a lot more forgiving to drive both cars require a different approach in driving style and it's up to the driver to see which of these cars fits better with theirs. Let's take a look at the data and see how the handling of these cars is reflected in it. We can see the data of the BMW in orange and the Porsche in blue. The first notable corner here is T1, where we see that the BMW has a higher top speed on the straight than the Porsche and therefore has to brake just a little bit earlier as well. The Porsche slows down just a bit more, which allows it to turn with an even smaller radius. The BMW goes a little wide here and the Porsche goes a little too tight. A good middle ground between these approaches would be the optimal line in this corner. When we take a look at the slower turns 3 and 4, we can see a big difference in racing lines. The orange BMW line is much tighter than the blue Porsche line, but the time difference here is not even a tenth of a second. A great example of cars having wildly different driving styles, but still being able to perform in the same ballpark. The Porsche has a better time being swung around this corner, while the BMW wants to stay more on course, as it were. When we check out the next segment, we can see that the BMW is easily exceeding the Porsche in raw power as it gains a significant speed advantage. But we see the Porsche shining when we check out its cornering abilities in segment 6. Even though the BMW is pulling ahead on the straight, the Porsche has a much easier time turning through this corner because of its agility. And we see the same thing in segment 8 and 9. The racing lines are not very different here, but the Porsche is able to maintain a higher minimum speed and also accelerate out of the corner faster because of the increased traction in the rear. Which we can beautifully see here when we look at the throttle inputs in segment 6. We can see that the Porsche is able to get back on the power earlier in the corner. Now if you want to analyze your own driving in ACC like this, be sure to head over to TrackTitan.io and sign up for free. And if you use promo code ACCENGINE, you'll get a month of free extra insights. The placement of the engine can make a big difference when it comes to the balance of a car. Today we've learned that placing the engine in the front increases the stability and the available grip of the front tires. Placing it in the back makes the car more agile, twitchy and gives it more grip in the rear. Both have their strengths and weaknesses and it is up to the driver to tame these machines and drive them to their absolute limit. We've seen that one is not necessarily better than the other and that both can be competitive if you change up your approach to fit these machines. Let us know if you prefer front or rear engine cars and if you like to see us cover mid engine cars as well. As always, we hope you've learned something from this video. Let us know in the comments down below and head over to tracktitan.io if you want to analyze your own laps. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.